Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem number 22 from the chapter of stress transformation which is chapter 9 in the book of mechanics of materials by R.C. Hibbler. In this problem the state of stress is given and we are being asked to calculate the stress components acting on the plane AB. And we are going to solve this example with the help of Mohr circle. So let's solve this problem. So in order to solve this problem with the help of Mohr circle, first of all we should be knowing the state of stresses at different planes. For example at this plane and at this plane. So state of stress at this plane, the one which is given, the normal stress at that point is 100 MPa and the shear stress at that plane is 20 MPa. Now we have to take care of the sign of conventions. This 100 MPa is compressive stress and we usually take compressive stress as negative so negative 100 MPa and this 28 MPa shear stress is anti-clockwise and uh, let's say that we are taking the anti-clockwise stress as negative so negative 28 MPa how about the state of state at this plane at this plane we have again uh, normal stress compressive which is 50 MPa in this case and the shear stress at this plane is again 20 MPa but not anti-clockwise, clockwise. So let's draw the Mohr circle. We know that in Mohr circle we have the coordinate system in terms of normal and shear stress. The horizontal axis usually represent the normal stress and the vertical axis usually represent the shear stress. So in order to have the better understanding, let's draw the grid and let's say that one unit of grid is equal to 10 MPa. So on this grid, we will have two points. One would be because of this, which will be minus 100 and minus 28. The other point will be because of this, which is minus 50 and plus 28. So let's point these state of stress on more circle. Let's start with this point first. So rightward stress will be positive and leftward stress will be negative. So we will be moving leftward. How many units? 10 units because it's 100 MPa. So 10 and then 28. So 10 and then 28. Let's say it's over here. So this is the point minus 100 and minus 28 MPa. The another point is at minus 50 and 28 MPa, minus hands again on the leftward side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here and 28 which is positive hands upward over here. So this will be then minus 50 and 28. So joining these two points, we will be having the diameter of the Mohr circle. So once we will have the diameter, it means we will also have the radius. So then we can draw the Mohr circle and this will be the Mohr circle then. So if we want to calculate some basic uh, calculations which we need in further calculations like the point where we are having the center of this Mohr circle. So this is actually if you look at the grid you can calculate that but we have formula to calculate the center which is the average of the normal stresses that are acting. So 100 minus 50 divided by 2 this will give us minus 75 MPa. So this will be the location of the Mohr circle and if you want to calculate the radius this radius I'm talking about so radius can also be calculated considering the right angle triangle since this is since this distance is 28 MPa and we can calculate this distance by subtracting minus 50 from minus 75 then we will be having 25 so this horizontal distance will be 25 this is 28 so on doing calculations we are going to have radius of this Mohr circle using the Pythagoras theorem as 37.54 MPa this is how I calculate it. Now moving further what we want to determine, we want to determine the state of stress at plane AB which is this exactly perpendicular line. Now if we look at the state of stress at this line which is minus 100 and minus 28 MPa. 
if you look at this this is actually this, uh, this plane so if we rotate this element by an angle of 30 degree anti-clockwise then we are going to have the state of space at a b line so on more circle it will be doubled if it is 30 here then on more circle it will be doubled it means 60 degree this plane of minus 100 and minus 28 mpa is represented by this line on more circle this line i'm talking about so it's 30 degree in actual and on more circle it will be double which means 60 degree so this line should be moved counterclockwise by a magnitude of 60 degree but before that we should be knowing the angle this angle i'm talking about this angle so using this right angle triangle we can calculate this angle which will be actually the same using perpendicular and base 10 theta formula so on doing calculations it will be 48.24 degrees so it means this will also be 48.24 degrees since this will be moved by the magnitude of 60 degrees it means 48.24 plus 60 will make it 108.24 degrees so we will have another line over here obviously this is not according to scale so this total angle is 60 but if you look from the horizontal it's 108.24 so if this is 108.24 so this remaining would be 180 minus this angle so 180 minus 108.24 it will be then 71.76 degrees so this is actually 71.76 degrees now if we can calculate the state of stress at this point which will actually be the state of stress on plane ab so this can be calculated using this right angle triangle where we have known to the radius which is actually 37.54 MPa. So perpendicular in this right angle triangle will give us the shear stress and base in this right angle will tell us about the normal stress at this point which will actually be the normal stress at plane AB. So this is the right angle triangle where the angle is 71.76. I'm drawing it on the neat and clean space so that you can understand it well. This uh, hypotenuse side which is actually radius is of 37.4 MPa. This will be actually shear stress at AB plane and uh, using sine theta formula we can easily calculate that. So sine 71.76 degrees is equal to perpendicular which is shear stress at AB plane divided by 37.54. So from here we will have shear stress at AB plane and on doing calculations it will be 35.7 mp and this base side this is the state of normal stress obviously this side will not actually tell us about the normal stress because this is just a base of a right angle triangle but not a distance that will tell us about the normal stress so let's represent that with x so using cos theta formula which is cos 71.76 degree is equal to base which is x in this case our party news is 37.54 so from here we will have the x distance which is the base of this right angle triangle and that will be 10.82 mpa now the normal stress will actually be the distance from here to here since we know the distance up to the center of the Mohr circle which is minus 75 MBA. So if we add this uh, magnitude of x with uh, the center of the Mohr circle then we will have this distance which will be the normal stress at AB plane. So minus 75 plus this 10.82 MBA will give us minus 63.3 MBA. Hence now we have calculated the state of stress at AB plane. This is the normal stress at AB plane and this is the shear stress at the AB plane. And this is a bit messy 
but if you have concept how we can do the calculation in more circle then it will become easy for you to do the basic calculation any this any state of stress if you want any point then you can easily just calculate using this more circle nonetheless if you don't have basics of more circle then you can refer to my previous videos related to the more circle how we construct more circle and what are the basics are in more circle so this is all from this video where we have learned about how we can calculate the state of the stress at any other plane when a state of stress at one plane is given.